slideshow. As you can see, there are a lot of X's there. I didn't know when I was going to do this. Uh, it won't let me slideshow. Uh, hit the one down in the bottom, the uh, along the uh, the bottom bar there, the one that looks like a screen to your right, where your mouse is. This one. Is your mouse moving? Oh, that's my yeah. mouse. <laughs> Over here. I was trying to get it get to it from up up above slideshow. Don't let me go go to that. I hate doing it from here when you see the uh, the other stuff. Let me um, stop sharing. I'll come back out. And I'll I'll have the slideshow. Up. Um, go to the lower right hand corner where it was a slideshow icon. It's very very small. No, that won't work. Yes. That worked. Everybody see the whole whole screen? Uh, not yet. You have to reshare your screen. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see. So uh, let me get that back up. I uh, I can't have that up and. Uh, you, get you should be able to have it up and share it. You just have to pick it when you share it, unless you have it on a second screen. I don't have it on a second screen. Okay, here's. Oh, brother, I'm sorry. As soon as I, I do that, it goes totally off and I can't get on to it. Hmm. Uh, well, just do it any old way you can. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll close this. And share your screen again. I've got to get back to the Zoom. Oh. Why is that not working when I click it? <laughs> oh. Is there a way to do gallery view in the Zoom meeting? Gallery view? Yeah. Yeah, where you can see everybody. Yeah, you go up to the uh, upper uh, right corner where it says speaker view and put it on gallery view. Okay, I got share screen now. And PowerPoint. Okay, you're on. Stuff. Yeah, but I, I've got to get away from this one and go to my other one. Yeah. <laughs> See coins now? No. Fiscal 2020 financial summary. Yeah, no, I don't. There is slight statement. <laughs> Close that one out and open the one you want. I'll open it now before I get into it. How come it's always easier when you're home by yourself and it all works flawlessly? Yeah. yeah. Our screen. Oh, we can be patient. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. We got I'm it sorry now. about the stuff at the side, but I can't get it full full screen somehow. It's very clear. I'll put my uh, my gallery over that side and cover those up for me. 
You can go okay, so you can do options and turn off the, the video gallery. Can you see the video gallery? You can turn off the video panel and then you can see the whole thing. I don't have to now. It's covered up by the uh, slides at the side. Okay. Okay, as, as you can see, I didn't know what date I was going to give this, so it's there. And the earliest one of the uh, elongated sense that I found was uh, 1972 RJNA 25th anniversary one. As you can see there's a, uh, a student. Can you see my cursor? Yes. 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 There's a, a student here with the teacher and it wouldn't be politically correct now with her arm around her at this point or him but they're looking at a huge book over here and there's a washington monument over here so you can see where it was and here was the uh, uh the inspiration for it it was the one dollar uh, educational note and as you can see it was a very good representation of uh of what it was this was a silver certificate and uh, it's a large size horse blanket. There are four coins in the uh, set. Two are on, <laughs> excuse me, uh, uh, cents and uh, two are on uh, dimes. As you can see, it was 1971 S for one of them and a uh, 1886 uh, Indian head for the other. Uh, mercury dime of 44. I can't tell what um, what mint mark it was, if there was any. And, and then a 1964. And again, I can't tell what mint mark. You'll see that some of them you'll be able to um, see mint marks uh, in a later date. But um, uh, this shows a good uh, representation of the dimes. Now, the question to ponder. When does Mercury show up on a Roosevelt dime? If he does, what did he look like? What would have inspired this? Anybody got any ideas? I suspect it was on a rolled dime. Yeah, here we go. There's the artist proof. That's in our, um, our book of... Um, that we did for the 100th anniversary. And the, all of the artist proofs for the rolled uh, coins made the uh, ch chapter changes. Now you can see the uh, Roosevelt dime and on the other side, Mercury's there. There's what inspired it. Mm -hmm. Downtown Rochester. And uh, I didn't have to uh, uh, give uh, what I want to call it, credit for that picture because we own that picture. There's the rolled, uh, rolled scent. There are five, or, uh, this one's a half dollar. There are five or six points in the, um, in this set. There's the, the scent, the nickel, the dime, the quarter, the half dollar, and the uh, Susan B. Next year, we had a uh, another one, and as you see, the '83 uh, artist proof there, and you see the representation on the uh, roll coin next to it. Again, there are six penny, nickel, dime, half, and uh, the dollar. 1994, um, this is the artist proof from the coins that tell a story. And um, it was from chapter six, but I haven't got any, any proof of any one of these being made. If anybody has any of these or, or something, it would be um, very great to get, get a picture of at least one of the, uh, the coins. You'll see some of them later on. And for the other years that I've only got a penny or a cent that was rolled. 
Here's the next one, 85. You'll be familiar with, uh, with that artist proof. And um, can anybody off the top of their head tell me where that came from? That's off of the Ike Dollar. You're right. There it is. Now, to me, that looks like a parrot rather than an eagle, but <laughs> there are a couple different varieties of the Ike Dollar. It's, it has to do with the, uh, uh, the earth picture and how it's set up and if there's islands off of the end of, of Florida or not and things like that. But I think all of the ones that went into this were all the, the common type. Here's a set shown with that. Eighty-six. Again, I'll call this guy Woody Woodpecker. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> um, again, the artist proof came from uh, the uh, coins that tell a story, and the inspiration was the uh, the peace dollar. Eighty-seven. We've got the uh, uh, the lady here holding a uh, torch, and can anybody tell me where that one came from? Oop, went too fast. It's Miss Liberty, by the way. Miss Liberty. She's a flapper girl from the twenty. On the uh, reverse of the uh, uh, two and a half. Dollar gold commemorative. It's a beautiful coin. Yes, it is. And uh, here's one of the rolled cents, but you can tell now that we're getting into something past 1982 when we had a full copper cent. Now we've got a copper clad zinc cent and we start picking up some pretty good imperfections when they roll the, uh, the coin. 1988, again, Jerry tells me this was just, uh, just a thought, it wasn't had anything that inspired it. And again, you can see that this was uh, from an, a post 82 uh, cent. So you can see some of the uh, imperfections because of the, uh, the stretching of the, the thin copper layer. This set, I do have a full setup. You can see the penny, the nickel, the dime, quarter, half, and, excuse me, <coughs> and the Susan B. Here's the, uh, I call it the obverse of the, uh, the rolled coin. A lot of them are the uh, the re the um, uh, the reverse on the roll coin here, and a lot of them are the obverse, showing that they were 88s when they did it. And anything that wasn't an 88, the uh, gentleman that rolled it uh, did it so the uh, reverse of the coin showed, and you didn't see the date. 89. This was uh, something that sits in the, uh, the Rochester Museum. Other than Jerry, can anybody tell me what, what that is? It's a Cunningham. It sure is. The Cunningham House is where we have a lot of the meetings when we can't have them downstairs. Mm -hmm. Here's the inspiration. It was a, the Cunningham. I couldn't find the whole picture of the car, so I had to hunt the web and, and get a picture here. Of, it's. Uh, of the Cunningham. Again, we've got all six denominations of the coins. And you can see that the uh, uh, the dates for 89 showed up, but there wasn't an 89 uh, Susan B. So they did the, uh, the reverse. 90, do they exist? I can't find any documentation, but I don't know why they wouldn't because we've gone almost a full decade now showing them 
and we go a little bit longer into the 90s. So if anybody has any information, I'd love to get it and put it into uh, the database. 1991, we've got the, uh, uh, the coin show ones again. And, uh, and you can see the, uh, there was no artist proof of this because it was, I don't know why. Again, you can see the full set of six and uh, the reverse of them. 92, do they exist? Mm. I can't find any. And again, I'd love, love it if somebody has some of these and can give me some, uh, some direction here, even to just get a, uh, a line to put into the database. 1993, we had our 1700 meeting. It was at New Horizons. It was on the uh, 6th of June. And uh, these were passed out for that meeting. Nice design. That came out pretty clear as far as the, uh, the die went. And you can see them on the, uh, the 6th the nominations and the uh, reverse. 1993 was a, a great year for the, the coin show. It was our 21st annual, so it was deemed coming of age. And there was a raffle, as we have now, but a set of these rolled coins were the raffle prize. So you can see all of the Die was very, very prominent here. And our friend from the uh, Athenian points. Now the prize was uh, five coins. Uh, there was a Lincoln cent, it was in 1912. Liberty nickel, 1912. Barber dime, 1912. And a uh, Barber quarter, 1912. And it was, <laughs> A barber half that was actually a D and you'll see in a minute how we can uh, tell that it was a D. These were all circulated coins so there were, were imperfections as far as uh, the coin wasn't bright and shiny when it went through the uh, the dies. And you can see here all of the the, uh, the coins. See all of the uh, reverse of it a little bit closer on the reverse so you can see that they're all 1912s. Here, you can actually see the D because of the dirt and things that were in the surface of the coin, they showed up during the rolling. And, oh, come on. And you can see where the 1912 was and, and all the other ones. We go a little bit further and we get into um, action members making roll coins for, for um, uh, giveaways at the banquet. Here's one from uh, Edie and uh, she was the first uh, president I've ever known at the uh, RNA in person. Everybody else was before my time that I know now and and there's quite a few afterwards at this point, 93. So we're, we're at least another 10 or um, uh, 15 past that. At our banquet on January 4th, 2012, there was a um, whole set of rolled coins that were uh, auctioned off. And before the meeting, Bill Cole came up to me and said, you've got to, substantiate this. And I said, what? And he said, oh, you got to say that this was the only one. And I said, Bill, is it the only one? He goes, yes, it is. I said, fine. So I substantiated it and I saw what it was and I said, okay. I said, what are we going to do with it? He goes, we're going to auction it off tonight. I said, that's fine. So as you can see, there's one of the hours of the roll sense right here and everything else is the reverse, but it is different 
sides and different um, denominations and even a few tokens thrown in. So there's, there's quite a few there. There's 4, 10, 16, 21, 26. So there's 30, uh, 30 different coins in that um, display. I had to go through because I didn't want to take it apart. I had to take it through the, uh, the plexiglass. I apologize for this type of picture. But as you can see, it's the 100th anniversary, the Rochester, New York, Rochester Numismatic Association, January 4th, 1912 to 2012. And then um, the old um, website was on there. Go a little bit further, uh, John Vicaretti did one for um, uh, his banquet. It was 2014. He was the 102nd president, and uh, he wants everybody to keep smiling. So, mm -hmm. see their teeth. And here are the, the ones that, that came from him. We have Lincoln Cent. You can see here, and all the rest are um, Italian lira. You can see there's the 50 lira, the 100, the 200, and, and I guess that's a 500. Eric Miller, that's the last banquet that we've had, mm -hmm. um, did one. And uh, he told me that we, uh, he passed out for us a cent and a nickel, but um, uh, for the family, he did uh, dimes and quarters as well. So there are, there are two other ones that, that are floating around that not too many people have seen. But it was for the 106th president, 2017, 2018. And the saxophone was in tribute for his daughter and the uh, veterinary caducius was in tribute for um, his wife and all the support they gave him for the, uh, uh, the year that he was president. And I think that's the end. So, any questions? If you're gonna do any for this, this year? No. Uh, gonna do any this year? We're off mute. Not anything uh, planned, but it would be nice if we could could do something. Where do we get that um, the machine? Um, the gentleman has died, I believe. Um, Eric sent me the information of where he did did his, and Bill Cole had given it to him, but I think um, he actually uh, passed away at this point, so I don't think. Yeah, our, it, the, the gentleman's name was Ray Dillard, and yes, he passed away uh, this year, I believe. Um, but he did a lot of the rolled nickels because he had the, the uh, presses and he had the ability to make the dies. Now, if somebody has taken that over, I don't know, but I believe there is a rolled coin club that you could probably find online someplace. And uh, through them, you should be able to find somebody who does make them. I think Richard Josephiak will know because he's very heavily into the uh, the roll roll coins. Yeah, he isn't on with us tonight for some reason. <clears throat> At least I don't think. We'll have to have him watch the uh, the recording of it. Yeah, the recording will be. After I get it get it uh, saved and everything, I'll put it up on the website in the meetings tab. In the uh, meetings tab. Now I I figured a way to house all these. I made two inch slug out of one of the airtight rings that go into the holders to house our, um, our regular presidential medals. And they'll fit back into the square presidential uh, uh, box that we got the uh, the metal in the two by two, and 
they almost fill it up, but not quite. So when you put one of these in that have a little bit of a bow to it, they press down into that uh, um, soft, spongy material and it, it houses them very, very nicely. Those two inch um, centers, because I did the couple sets of the uh, RNA metals in those and uh, work out well. I'd like to put some condo coins in there. A roll of Congo coins? Yeah, I'd like to roll one or a couple or a few. Some of the, you know, more common low grade pieces. What size would they be? I don't know. Uh, like maybe a, between a nickel and a quarter. Okay, so you couldn't do them in a machine. If, if they're the size of a penny, you could do them in the machine right at the uh, uh, Rochester Museum and Science Center. I might have some that are penny size. I have to look. That'd be kind of nice. I think I'll do that. Where, at the, where is it? Right at, it was right near the um, cash registers there, as you can. Oh. And they'll have like three or four different dyes you can choose. Interesting. That'd be kind uh, of Richards. Cool. They used to have Richards. one back in the, um, the uh, wildlife cabin where you could watch the otters. Yeah, but they wouldn't have our club on it. It's, oh. oh, but they'll say Rochester Museum and Science Center on it. Yeah, yeah that's so cool. I probably have some. The Strong Museum of Play has some too. I've seen them in different places. They moved the machine, but it would yeah. used to be near the shop. Yeah, well, there is somebody out there someplace that actually makes these dies and puts them together. So, yeah, I'm sure Richard can help uh, us with that. I know the Detroit Airport has them because I uh, I took a steel penny and put it through one over there for for the Detroit where it was a 64 and a half Mustang. Well, I'm going to stop the recording now and chip.